please welcome the lovely Jamie King, everybody. Jamie King. Lovely to see. I see you're color blocking this evening. I am. You're so fashion chic. That was a really weird clip. It's kind of strange. I was going to ask you about it. I haven't even seen that episode, well, but I was watching that, there? and I was, that was very strange. Is I it can't a dream get away. It's, it is. I could tell. <laughs> but it looked very odd, just that it one does little look piece. kind of weird. And yeah. I wasn't even acting. I was just kind of standing there and smiling. That's acting. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, some, if the part requires you to stand there and smile. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Are you a fan of Aerosmith? Did you see Steve? I did. I was yeah. talking to him. I saw his daughter last night, and she told me to tell him that she loved him. Oh, that's good. She could probably call her. She you know, could. She's probably got his number. She but they're both him. like rock and roll. Rock and roll. No. Rock, I, they just pass messages to I people. I don't actually talk to my own dad. I have actresses <laughs> do it. You talk. Is that Slytherin? But the, no, I'm not Slytherin. Are you Harry Potter? I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Are you Gryffindor? No. What are you? All of them. You can't be all of them. No. I love all of them. That's such a Hufflepuff thing to say. Oh, my God, it is. It is. No, you're, you're, you've got to be Gryffindor, sh surely. It's true. Have you it's read true. all the books? I have not read all the books, but I've read all of them, watched all the movies. And I made uh, Butterbeer. Not the same, Jamie. Listen to them. Yeah, okay. Audiobooks. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. That's fine, yeah. You still have to make up the pictures in your head. All right, I, that's fine. I, I worry because the Goblet of Fire movie... Uh, didn't have Dobby in it, and then the whole Cedric Diggory storyline, they completely mangled it. I'm like, well, this is Tootsie Fruits. Good at all! We, <laughs> we throw um, socks on our dog and we call him Dobby. You put socks on your dog and you call him Dobby? <laughs> we tell him he's freed. No, you can't do that. They don't like that. They don't like that? No, you don't, you don't can't free a house elf. They don't like it, don't they? I, they I, do if you're, if you're, yeah, they do. You, you're like, is, this is like talking to Hermione. Crocky Dinga. This, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> do you know, uh, he was here, Daniel Radcliffe was here. He uh, was? Yeah. I saw him last night, actually. He's, where were you I was, last I night? was very, I was too nervous to say anything. I went like this, like as if he was going to know me, but he doesn't know me at all. Do you ever get that with famous people? I'm like, oh, hi. Yeah. yeah, I do that. I do all that the Harry Potter kids. Really? Yeah. Ron Weasley was here, too. Oh, he's, I, I met him. Oh, yeah. He's awesome. <laughs> He's my favorite. Oh, I think I could tell, yeah. <laughs> do you like a ginger? Is that what it is? I like red hair. I do like red hair. A lot of people do. The rangas, they call them the rangas. The ringers? Rangas. Have you ever heard of that term? No. What does it mean? Have you seen Chris Lilly's show? Like Summer Heights High? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, look it up, look it up, look it up, uh, look it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I, oh, that's the Australian gym. Yeah. Uh, no. So he calls no. gingers rangas. So it's. I don't know what you're talking. It's like an orangutan. Yeah. Oh, 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 like an orangutan. That's rude. It's mean. Yeah, that's terrible. That's why I don't want to say the whole thing. But aren't orangut orangutans are the one with the big red bottoms, aren't they? I think they are. Yeah, I, I had to do this so you know what I meant when I said. I what. see, I see. Yeah, big red bottom. Not that I've got a big red bottom. <laughs> How's your bottom? Is it red? It's red right now. Yeah. Is it? I feel like my face is red after talking about red bottoms oh, and orangutans. Oh, don't worry about it. It's <laughs> Fine, <laughs> it's all right. So, what's happening in the uh, House of Dixie then? Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie. Yeah, that one. What's happening <laughs> in, the, in the wedding scenario? Because that that uh, that 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 clip like really freaked me out. You yeah. know, I've been in Winnipeg for the past. That freaked me out. I've been to Winnipeg. Have you been? Yeah. I, I feel honestly like I feel I I can't, I gotta go back there. Tonight. Did you stay? Did you stay at that hotel right at the end of Portage? That one in the Fort middle? Scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. I walked down there. It was like The Shining. I wouldn't go. Really? I loved I, it. You? <laughs> yeah. You're the kind of person. Yeah. That no, loved I was that, right? like, oh, the two girls in the corridor. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, 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 great, no, 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 no. I would not. And no, none of my cast members slept. None of them. Really? Because they were all staying there, and some of them they thought it was like so cool. But I'm just so not. I'm staying at like a really bland boring apartment because I don't want to stay around any ghosts. No. Yeah, why not? Because they're... Are you frightened of ghosts? Yeah. I'm amazed you came to this basement right here. <laughs> Is it haunted? Haunted by the ghost of Jeff Peterson. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's like a 
punk rock goes, though. He's not scared. Yeah, well, well so it's the fashion is involved? If, the, if, the, uh, if there's some kind of <laughs> musical taste or fashion involved in the ghost, Yes, it's because the, the ghost at the Fort, it's the Fort Gary, but I call it the Fort Gary, probably right. like, like little creepy girls, like in little 17th century, I just, I can't. Well, here's the thing, though. <laughs> that, that hotel wasn't built in the 17th century, so it's... Like the 18th century? I don't think Early so. Early 19th, for the train, for the, no, by I the think, train station. I think it was built in the uh, early 1970s. No, it was not. So it was Disco Ghost? Yeah, Disco Ghost. That's no. what like. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you believe in ghosts? I do. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I've had some weird experiences. Have you? So have I, but I don't know if I believe in ghosts. <laughs> no, I do, I think. I went to a haunted hotel in Omaha. You ever... Uh, I'm from Omaha. That's right. There's a there's a, a hotel in the middle of town, the Dean Hotel or something. You know what I'm talking about? No. I stayed in it. Was it the Dean Hotel? I can't remember. Or something like that. And I stayed in it and I had to leave. That's like, why I didn't want to stay at that hotel. But it wasn't built in the 1970s. Wait, 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 look, I think we're talking about two different hotels. No, no, You're talking no, 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 like no, no, no. The, the Motel 8 of like Winnipeg. No. I'm talking no. about the Fort Gary look, of Winnipeg. Here's why I wasn't frightened. It was a Canadian ghost. A uh, Canadian ghost is going to be polite. It's like, who? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, That's you want the maple syrup? Yeah, 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 yeah. Canadian ghost is going to be friendly because Canadian people are friendly. They are very, they say sorry a lot. They do. And it's freezing up there, sort of like your stage. You know, <laughs> do you know what I did once what? in Winnipeg? This is true. I was so bored. I was there in the winter in that hotel. <laughs> you know this is true. I know because it's so, I know. It's I don't want to say it because I don't want to get in trouble. But oh, I, no, no, I, I, they're lovely people. They're it's, amazing people, but it's. What's the coming to go? It's really, uh, it's really boring. It's, it's kind of boring. And depressing. In and the cold. winter, yeah. So I was stuck in my hotel room, shaved my entire body. Because you were staying in a haunted hotel. I just, and I bet the ghost I, the, told the you, real, and that's why I didn't stay there. No, I, there was nothing else to do, shaved my entire body. How was that for I you? I looked like a giant baby. You did? Yeah. And I, and I was looking at myself How in the did mirror. your wife feel about that? Oh, we weren't married at the time. It was before uh, I met her. She wouldn't let me shave myself now. <laughs> Did you use a lot of razors to do that? I mean, did you have to trim before you... No, I'm not that hairy. I mean, your whole body is a bit... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. For a man, I mean, that's a lot of No, no, hair. I've just got a bit here and then a bit down the junk area. That's it. That's I, it? What do I hear here? Well, some here, but I don't have, like, I don't have back hair. I'm not a Kardashian. Come on. <laughs> they yeah, like... Yeah. All right. We're out of time. We got uh, we got to do it. mouth organ. I don't do mouth organ. Mouth organ, awkward pause, or big cash prize. Mm. Don't do mouth organ. This would be a bad night. Mm, I, I know. I just saw a Stephen yeah. Tyler doing that. Uh, big cash prize. What time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's Steven? time for the big cash prize. Right, 50 American dollars and quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Don't touch the money till well, you earn it. I don't want any more parking tickets, so that'd be good. Well, this is great. This is perfect for you. All right. Uh, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Your box? Yes, box. Mm. It's not a double long tour, it's just a thing. Okay. And I don't know what's in the box. You can try and guess what's in it. If you're right, Jeff will tell us if you're wrong, something awful will happen to you involving ghosts. In boxes? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I'll guess what's in the box. Oh, okay. I'm imagining a box in my head. <laughs> Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, Jamie, what is in? My box. A ghost. Jeff, is she right? We would have also accepted disco ghosts. That is correct. 